If you've been exploring AI-powered app building, then you've most likely come across tools like Lovable and Cursor. Lovable helps you generate full-stack apps using AI prompts. It's great for spinning up early-stage prototype, but it falls short when you want to connect it to your real data or you want to maintain the app without exporting and coding. Cursor is a developer-first AI coding tool. It's great if you already live in VS Code and want AI to help you write and refactor your code, but it's definitely not useful if you want to avoid coding altogether. And that's exactly where Zite shines. Zite lets you bring your idea to life by just describing it. No coding, no APIs, no technical jargon, real working software built around your words. This is what we call vibe coding, and Zite makes it effortless. So let's check it out. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com, and we help companies get set up using industry-leading portals, apps, and integrations. Now, I'm sure you've been in this position. You've got a business idea, but you just need to turn it into a functional app. With Zite, you can generate an app, not in months, but in minutes. No coding, no dev team, just you, an idea, and AI. And that's exactly where Zite stands out. If you want to explore vibe coding, just describing your idea and watching real usable software generate right in front of your eyes, then you need to keep watching this video and learn more about Zite. Zite, which was released by the team at Fillout, is a powerhouse in generating usable software just from simple prompts. But unlike Lovable, Zite doesn't just build a proof of concept app. It builds around your tools, your data, your business logic, and your ideas, and presents you with a fully functional app ready to launch. So let's take a look at how Zide can turn your ideas into a fully functional app ready to launch. I've jumped into Zide here and I'm going to simply prompt it to generate a client portal for us. We'll look at a really broad example and then we'll dive deep into the nitty and gritty. Now we will need to be patient when we are prompting Zide because it's doing a whole bunch of coding for us. So while it will take minutes, we can't expect it to take seconds. Now you might be asking the question, what's the difference between vibe coding and no coding? And it's a good question. No coding refers to building software, automations, or systems using tools that require zero programming knowledge. Users rely entirely on visual interfaces, drag and drop components, pre-built templates, and data. Tools in the no code space are Softer, Glide, Zapier, and more. While vibe coding is a newer term that refers to describing your software idea in plain language, and watching it come to life. It's often powered by AI, and it's much like having a conversation with a developer who understands your vibe, your intent, and your desired outcome. It's a similar process to prompting AI, ChatGPT, and Claude to generate images and media for you, but this time, apps. The key difference for you to take away is that no coding still requires a manual setup, whereas vibe coding can turn plain language into functional apps and workflows, usually with the support of AI. So here we can see that Zite has generated our client portal for us. Let's jump into the full screen view so that we can see how this appears. Now, on the left, we've got our side panel, dashboard, projects, invoices, messages, and settings. Now, straight away, we can see that it has built a fully functional app for us to use. It's used example data so that we can visualize how this app will appear and function. Not only does it generate a fully functional app, but we've also got the different responsive viewports there, laptop, iPad, and mobile. So straight away, we have an understanding of how this will perform on different devices. It's pretty crazy that Zite was able to produce for us a fully functional, beautiful, professional, and intuitive app that we could launch ready to go. But what if you already have your data? It lives in Google Sheets or Airtable, and you're ready to build a fully functional front-facing app. We can jump into the Zite editor and we can directly connect your data to this app. Google Sheets, Airtable, Slack, and OpenAI are currently supported. Notion coming soon. And we'll discuss the widgets later in this video, so make sure you stick around. Now, while you could directly connect your data to this pre-built app, it's much better that we share the data with Zite and then prompt it to build the app for us. Let's compare the build that we got from Zite to the most popular vibe coding app today, lovable. So again, I'm just going to prompt it something really simple, just asking it to create a client portal. And we'll wait for that to spin up what we need. And here we can see that lovable took that simple prompt and generated something that's very similar to what we got from Zype. But we're not here to discuss the design. We're here to discuss the compatibility and the maintenance. Here, we can see that we can connect the app lovable created to Superbase. But I bet that you and your business aren't managing your clients, contacts, tasks, projects, 
within Superbase and you're using a platform like Airtable or Google Sheets. That's one of the key differences between Zite and Lovable. Also, if we jump into Zite, we'll notice that currently while they're supporting Google Sheets, Airtable, Slack and OpenAI, that's we have a whole heap of other apps that will be coming soon. If you're managing your projects in SmartSuite, Monday or ClickUp, well, Zite's got to be the tool for you. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video where we'll actually compare Lovable and Zite, looking at the maintenance required, the price tag, and which one is better suited for what you need. But let's jump in and take a look at how you can actually use your data to build a fully working, fully functional app with Zite. Now, here we have our data in our Airtable solution. We've got an inspections tool and we want to create a front-facing inspections app so that our team can easily submit their inspections. We'll just need to connect this Airtable database and we'll see what magic Zite can give us. So we'll jump over to Zite and we'll need to connect our Airtable account just by selecting this here. Once you've connected to Airtable, you'll follow the prompts and you'll be asked to either use an existing base or generate a base. Now, of course, we have our data already that's why we're building this app. So we're going to use an existing base and we're going to select our inspections tool. Again, I just want to use a simple prompt so you can see what is possible with Zite. Use the inspections table to build an inspections submissions app. So we'll send it off, prompting it, and then we'll wait to see what we get back. Now, while we wait for Zite to generate that app for us, let's look at the pricing differences between Lovable and Zite. Starting with Lovable, we'll notice on the free plan that we get five credits per month. That's only five prompts. One prompt is asking Lovable to create an app. Another prompt is asking it to edit an element. Another prompt is asking it to edit a component. You're going to go through those five credits incredibly quickly, and then you're going to bump up to the pro plan, which will give you 100 credits per month. Lovable allows you to select the credits and will add on to the price. However, 100 credits for $25 a month, that's not a lot. You also have the ability to create private projects. You can remove the lovable branding, add custom domains to your apps and bring in three editors per project. The next bump up is the team plan at $30 a month. And again, you can increase that credits per month, but of course that will increase your pricing. You'll see here that lovable starts to get incredibly expensive, especially if you're just building simple internal apps for your team. You don't want to be spending that much money. Now, taking a look at Zite's pricing, we can expect it to be more generous than lovable. And I say that because the team at Fillout are always offering so much value for your coin. The free plan, while it doesn't let us know how many credits we have, how many prompts we can prompt Zite with, I believe it's around the 20 mark. However, this is just an early adoption pricing, so we can expect things to change. We will notice, though, that the free plan gives you unlimited apps. You can create as many as you want and unlimited users. You can bring in your team and create apps together. Integrations are also offered, so you can connect to your Airtable database, send messages on Slack, and so on. The first paid plan, Starter, is just $19 a month. You get everything that you get in the free plan, unlimited users, apps, and integrations, but your credit limit is doubled. Again, though, we're not sure what that limit is. You can also include a custom domain, and you can remove branding. The Pro plan, which is what I'm on and the most popular, gets you everything in Starter, your credit limit is quadrupled, and you also have access to internal apps. Now, the great thing about Zite is that it was released by Fillout, one of our most favorite form builders. So not only do you get access to Zite, but you can also bring in powerful and functional forms, as well as a scheduling app, which just isn't offered on Lovable and other competitors. From the pro plan, the business plan will bump you up $89 a month, which still isn't expensive, when comparing it to Lovable Cursor and other platforms, you'll get 16 times the limit, but you can increase that much like you can with Lovable and you'll get unlimited custom domains and priority support. Now, the great thing about Zite is that it was released by the Fillout team, meaning you get access to Fillout forms, Fillout scheduling and automated workflows, which you can bring directly into your app. And that's just not offered by other competitors like Lovable. So Zite has generated for us our inspection app our inspection submission app. We've got our inspection list, which pulls the data directly from our Airtable table. And we've got a new inspection form. If we select this, we'll notice that that loads and it prompts us to input the fields that exist on our table. If I was to insert the details, submit it, that's gonna populate Airtable for us. However, if we jump back into the inspections list, we also have a new inspection button here. We've also got the dashboard, which currently doesn't direct us to anything. Now. 
Maybe you're happy with this and you're ready to launch, or perhaps you want to edit certain components and elements. Over in the top right, we'll notice we've got this edit icon. So we'll select that. And then from here, we just select one of the components or edits on our tool. So with edit selected, we'll select one of the components or elements on our tool, which will open up an editing toolbar. Here we can change the look and feel of that component, but more importantly, we can access the AI editor and use this to prompt Zeit to update it as we'd like. For instance, we can just go simply change the color and there we can see like clockwork, it changed the color of the button. Of course, that was a simple example, but if you want to change any of the elements, perhaps you want to add a new section here, we'll go edit, we'll select our side panel. And we'll, of course, need to select AI edit to ensure that Zite knows we're talking about the navigation. There we can see the component we've selected. If I was to select the, the header here, AI edit, there we can see it's brought in the header. But let's change that. We'll go edit. And let's say we'll bring in our projects from Airtable. Oops, I need to ensure I've selected AI edit. Navigation. Let's send this off and let's see what happens. Now, I do want to quickly note that You'll see here it's running tests. What it's doing is it's double checking that it hasn't made an error before it actually provides you with the update, which is pretty damn good. And don't worry about that section because it's given us an error. And here we can see if we just go back to the full screen that it's now pulled in our project data from Airtable. See here that it's created some really cool cards. If we jump back into the inspections and we'll head to projects, there we can see those budget values which have been brought in directly to our app. Now, the process of editing your app is very straightforward. Prompt, reiterate, prompt, reiterate, and so on. So I'm not going to dive too deeply into that because we could be here all day. So you'll want to dive in and play around with the editing functionality. But we're going to take a look at the other features included, widgets and apps. So we know that we can connect to our databases, but what about bringing in a form or connecting to our Slack? Well, if we scroll down under popular apps, we've got widgets here. We'll notice that payment portals are coming soon, which is incredibly exciting. And something that's really interesting is fill out their form builder is an offered widget, but soon they'll be bringing in their competitors, Typeform and Google Forms. If we select the fill out widget, we'll notice that we've got our first fill out connection. We'll connect this directly to a form that we have. Now, I currently don't have a form related to this inspection tool, but I can select any one of our scheduling forms or normal forms and bring it directly into the app. We'll skip that. This is amazing because you can include a booking appointment scheduler. You can include a form directly in the app. Perhaps you have a client and you want them to be able to provide feedback once a project is finished. Fill out is the perfect form builder for this. Yes, you can build forms directly in Zeit, but the functionality of fill out, it just makes sense. And other than the widgets we can bring in, the apps we can connect, we also have workflows. This will show us the automated workflows that our app has created. Currently, we're retrieving projects from our projects table, disciplines, inspections, and so on and so forth. Now, we can't directly create a workflow here. However, whenever we request a change from Zype and it is something new, something unique, it's going to create an automated workflow for us there. If you'd like to learn more about Fillout, which is the sister tool platform company of Zite, make sure to check out the description of this video where I've linked a playlist to our fill out videos as well as some helpful resources on how you can get started with this amazing form building and scheduling tool. So we took a look at the building process, but now we need to discuss maintenance because Lovable and Zite take very different paths. Lovable works like a traditional developer system. It helps you write the code, but after that, it's your responsibility. You'll need to host it somewhere, manage updates, fix bugs, and stay on top of any security issues or broken dependencies. It's powerful, it's flexible, but that upkeep, it's very real. Zite, on the other hand, is like having your own in-house app builder. You don't worry about the infrastructure, the hosting, or any of behind the scenes setups. You describe what you want in English, and Zite takes care of the rest, including updates, because you can connect directly to your data. If you need to change how a feature works, just tell it. Zite handles it instantly. No code, no downtime, no deployment headaches. So I guess the real question here is, would you rather spend your time coding and maintaining or would you rather spend that time on more important things in your business knowing you've got an app builder that can test, ship and manage for you? I'll answer the question for you. If your business runs on data and people, 
Zite is the fastest way that you can ship fully functional apps. But I hope you don't misunderstand me. Lovable is a great platform, but it kind of defeats the purpose of vibe coding because you are generating an app, but you're still going to have to code and maintain it. Whereas with Zite, you can build beautiful, intuitive, and professional software in a matter of minutes. If you want to test an idea quickly and code later, Lovable is great for that. It's an amazing proof of concept app. But if you want a portal, a business app, or an internal dashboard that runs through your business, Zite is made for that. And I can't think of any competitors that do it as well as Zite does. Plus, excitingly, it's only early days for this platform. So we can expect some amazing things to come from the team at Zite and Philapp over the next few months, six months, year. Well, I hope you're as excited as I am about Zite and the potential possibilities and capabilities. If you want to get started with Zite, check out the link in the description below where I've left the early access link. So make sure you sign up today, completely free. If you're still unsure about Zite, it's there to help you build real working software, connect directly to your business tools, create apps that run your day-to-day -day and enable you to stay in control without hiring a dev or getting too complicated in systems. If you need help setting up apps, portals or integrations or automating parts of your business, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com where our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation, so book yours today.